Yeah, a few mistakes I made in the previous one towards the end. I'm sure it's chock a block with mistakes. That's how life works. But the the spirit, the principle of what I'm talking about should have come through. Okay. Little trivial mistakes here and there. Whatever. Okay, so Avogadro's number, the mole, is roughly similar in size to like 60 to the 12th power, you know, times about 100. It's, it's kind of on that order, I think. It's pretty close to that. <laughs> right. Here. Let me use a calculator so that we can see this. Calculator. Okay. And the internet. Okay. Avogadro's. Number. And duck, duck, go. Woohoo! Okay, so. This is. I'm not going to write out all those decimal places, so whatever. It's basically. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. 6 times 10 to the 23rd. This. If I did it right. Watch me fuck up again in the explanation of the fuck ups. Okay, 60 to the 12th is like 2.2, is like 1768, I don't care, um, times 10 to the, well, if we multiplied it by, let's see, it's 10 to the 21, so times 100 should give me 23. Hey, I just wanted to do it with the calculator because the way I'm working on things right now is not, mm, I'm, I'm not doing fantastic. Okay, yeah, so these are like on the same order of magnitude, right? Okay, so what I was doing, the, uh, the 60 by 60 by 77, yeah, by 52 is kind of on the order of 60 to the 4th. Right. So that's where I was getting the 12 from. You would actually cube this to get something that's comparable to the mole. Um, but now you can't take, you, you can make a block, a perfect cube, but that won't have a square root. All right. So you can have an integer number of particles in the cube, the cube block. That's right. But you couldn't make a sheet with, um, you know, say we, say we cube this, you know, our, our magic number cubed, um, if we cubed it, now we're kind of on the order of the mole. <clears throat> right, so, uh, let's see, do the calculator, do the calculator, here we go, 60 by 60 by 77 by 52. 14,414,400. 14, okay, now let's cube that. So this is going to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so this guy. Our. This guy. Cubed. Is. Really close to. Three times 10 to the 21. So it's still, it's still about 1% of a mole. It's still, it's really close. It's about, it's about half a percent of a mole. It's, so, you know, 200 of them will give you a mole, pretty much. But considering how freaking huge this number is, that's really close, honestly. <laughs> um... Yeah, and you so you can manipulate it really, really easily. Um, yeah. Say so like you have you have something much more comparable to the mole as sort of your daily thing. 
maybe say it's um, we just we can just multiply this by uh, by 60 and then there you go now you're much closer <laughs> right let's see times 60 that'll bring us up to 1.8 really close to 1.8 times 10 to the 23rd all right so now we're really 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 close and this is sort of a natural unit in here another thing that I thought might be nice to note um, <clears throat> so I, I sort of introduced the convention that you know you have like uh, you know base 60 will look like has a suffix like this base 70 7 has a suffix like this and base 52 has a suffix like this right so this is this is high this is low this is completely different okay so what you can do is you don't you're not committed to doing this all the time you don't have to go 60 60 77 52 if you're working with a number like 7 or something and you know that you're going to want to divide by 7 then you can just start here because we can indicate it Right? We don't need to go with the 60s first, as long as you're indicating it. Right? And you can assume a standard order, so that would turn it into 77, 52, 60, 60, if we're going to do blocks. Right? Or say we're working with 13s, well, let's start with 52s. You know, so that it's, it's sort of more natural to, to that sort of thing. So now you get this sort of flexibility. It does come with a maybe a drawback because now you're looking at numbers like you know, 27 or something like that. And now we have three different ways of representing the number 27 depending on which one we drop it into. That's a little bit of um, perhaps an annoyance. But it's also going to genuinely teach you shit, right? So you can think of 27 as two 13s plus 1. Or you can think of 27s as... 27 as two, uh, two 11s plus 5. Or you can think of 27 as um, 4 5s <clears throat> plus another 5 plus 2. Right? So 20 plus 7. Right? Like, you get a better sense when you work with this of like how to do the basic addition, multiplication, all that shit what the number is you you're not stuck with just one representation of the number and then absolutely at a loss when a situation arises where you have to deal with it in a different way this is so this is both a shortcoming and a really strong virtue i think but yeah like there's there's nice things about this and there's but there's also a lot of, it's different. It's very, very different. So there would be a lot of learning and a lot of difficulty making it, I think, practical. You know, if you wanted to introduce it into a community at this point in time, I think it would be difficult. It would, it would take some effort, but meh, you know. I think there's, you know, the idea is there's something here that, uh, that we're missing, you know, with, with base 10 and focusing exclusively on systems like that.